Got a pat down the fro. You know how that go. It starts sticking all out everywhere. Is it even? All right. Even enough? All right. All right. So, I've been making some very significant changes in my life. Extremely significant. And one of the changes that I've made in my life is less consumerism, more minimalism. And the way I have been going about to achieve the optimum of that change is donating, donating to charity. So I had recently went to the flea market, took some of my nice clothes, some of my old shoes, some old appliances, a lot of just old stuff that I don't use anymore. And I took it to the flea market, paid a small fee, set up a booth. And I spent an entire Saturday, well, a good about six to eight hours at that flea market, selling a lot of my old possessions that I don't really need or have any usage for anymore. But I, I can see that some of these possessions would be valuable to somebody else. So to make a long story short, at the end of the day, I made a decent amount of money on the possessions. Now at the time, I was uncertain if I was just gonna keep the money or donate it, just keep it, in my, but keep it in my savings, not for the purposes of spending it aimlessly and irresponsibly. I didn't want to do that. But what I ultimately decided to do, and it was a few, few, a couple hundred bucks, not a few, but a couple hundred bucks and change. I decided to donate the money to a charity of my choice. I'm not gonna tell you, but I donated it to a charity. And I felt really good about that, extremely good. I had never done anything like that before, but it felt really good to do that. And I've, I've donated before, like I donate blood, I've donated my time, community service, I'm, I'm into community service, but I've never donated this amount of money to an organization before, never. But why am I telling you this? Let me tell you why I'm telling you this. I made the mistake of telling a family member what I had done. Do you know this individual was mad with me because I did not quote unquote donate the money to their bank account, to their ability to be able to consume. They were mad with me like, hey, cool, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you could have gave that to me, cool, you know what I'm talking about? You, you, you know how Floridians talk. Cool, you could have gone ahead and gave that to me. And, and before I, I got mad and snapped on him, I, 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 why would I give it to you? I asked him that, like, why would I give it to you when the purpose was to either save it in my bank account or donate it to a charity for a cause? Albeit you might not agree with the cause, but that was my objective. That was my money. I have the right. Why are you mad at me for doing what I want to do with my money? When you work and you do what you want to do and you create money for yourself, I don't tell you how to spend your money. But you're mad with me. The nerve of some people. So, I, 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 to this day, I'm, I'm still a little bit confused as to why they were mad with me like they shouldn't be mad but yeah they were mad at me because I didn't give them the money that I donated to the charity some people I mean you have to keep in mind first of all they wouldn't have done any good with the money I truly do believe that it's my family man. I know how they are second of all it would have been in stark contrast to the principles and the ideals of of altruism and it would have defeated the purpose of me trying to be much more less of a consumerist or practicing consumerism so I thought that was interesting but people never let somebody tell you how to spend your money that you work hard for don't 
I'm still rather upset to this day, to this minute. Thank you for your time, thank you for listening. And as always, been phrases, good morning, good afternoon, and good night. <laughs>